I'm Rebecca Linden back, and this is my spoken word poetry, Echoes of Menstruation. Drip, 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 gush, sitting in a dark gray stall, holding in my hands the loudest piece of plastic ever mass produced, the wings on a maxi pad. I open it. Rip, the sound reverberates. It's unmistakable. Everyone in the bathroom hearing my echoes of menstruation. Walk, skip, laugh, smile. I'm 14 years old and John has just asked me to the school dance next Saturday. With a spring in my step, I do a twirl and his eyes light up in horror. I feel the warmth spread, the betrayal, the shame all over my white jeans. He assures me it's okay, but in his eyes, I see echoes Echoes. of menstruation. menstruation. Slam, lock, sip, gasp on the porcelain throne I hover, tampon already in hand as I realize in horror the guest bathroom garbage can is empty. Gilded faucets and monogrammed towels taunt me. I'm the only one here. They'll know that it's mine. I wrap it 20 times in toilet paper, hoping they do not recognize the echoes of menstruation. For generations on generations, women have been bonded by this dot. Period. Aunt Flo, a visiting friend, does the red peony bloom. We all share, but we must hide it. For we know that if they knew, they would never take us seriously. We know that if they knew, they would say that we are just hormonal. We know that if they knew, they would find us weak. So instead, we cramp in silence. We bleed with a smile on our face because as Focus on the Family says, we must be warned against even an echo Echo. of menstruation. menstruation.